Hey there, fellow adventurers. Ever dreamt of escaping the tourist traps? Europe, my friends, is a treasure chest of hidden wonders. Tucked away in remote corners, you'll find villages untouched by time. These places whisper stories of old. They offer a glimpse into a Europe rarely seen. We're talking about villages so remote they might not even be on your map. These are the places where you'll understand the true meaning of old Europe. Get ready for an adventure off the beaten path. Imagine cobblestone streets winding through time. Picture houses clinging to cliffsides, their windows like watchful eyes. This is the Europe that awaits you. Now what do we mean by remote? We're not just talking about a village with spotty Wi-Fi. These villages are tucked away in mountain valleys perched on rugged cliffs or nestled deep within ancient forests. Getting there might be a journey but that's all part of the adventure. It's about preserving a way of life. It's about holding on to traditions that have been passed down through generations. These villages offer a glimpse into a Europe where time seems to move a little slower. Imagine a place where the air is crisp and clean, where the only sounds are the rustling leaves and the distant bleating of sheep. This is the magic of remote Europe. It's a chance to reconnect with nature, to experience the peace and tranquility that's often missing in our busy lives. You'll find a fascinating blend of the old and the new, Our first stop takes us to Italy, a country known for its vibrant culture and breathtaking landscapes. But nestled along the Amalfi coast, hidden in plain sight, lies the village of Ferrore. This enchanting village earns its nickname, the town that doesn't exist, for a reason. You won't find it on many maps, and that's part of its charm. Imagine houses clinging precariously to the cliffs, their pastel colors a stark contrast to the azure waters below. The village is carved into a fjord, a narrow inlet carved by ancient glaciers. This unique geography adds to Furore's secluded ambience, making it feel like a secret hideaway. The heart of Furore lies in its picturesque harbour. Here, colourful fishing boats bob gently on the turquoise water, a testament to the village's connection to the sea. The air is filled with the scent of salt and citrus, a sensory feast that awakens the soul. Exploring Furore, is like stepping into a fairy tale. Narrow, winding alleys lead you past ancient houses adorned with colorful flowers. Each turn reveals a hidden courtyard, a secret staircase, or a breathtaking view of the sea. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes because you'll want to get lost in the magic of this place. Don't miss the Fiordo di Furore, a narrow inlet where the waves crash dramatically against the cliffs. This natural wonder is a sight to behold, and you can even take a dip in the crystal clear water if you're feeling adventurous. Every year, the village hosts a diving competition from the Fiordo's Bridge. Brave souls from all over the world come to take the plunge from this dizzying height. As you wander through the village, be sure to sample some of the local delicacies. Embracing Modernity Furore's Dance with Progress now, you might think that a village as remote and seemingly secluded as Furore would be resistant to change, but that's where you'd be wrong. One of the ways Furore has adapted to the modern world is through its embrace of technology. The village has invested in high-speed internet, making it possible for residents to work remotely and stay connected with the outside world. This has helped to stem the tide of young people leaving for bigger cities. Furore has also become a haven for artists and creatives. The village's stunning beauty and tranquil atmosphere provide the perfect inspiration for painting, writing, and other artistic pursuits. And when it comes to sustainability, Furore is leading the way. The village has implemented a number of eco-friendly initiatives, including solar panels and organic farming practices. A journey to the stars. Welcome to Viganella, Italy. From the breathtaking Amalfi Coast, we journey north to a village that quite literally reaches for the stars. Nestled high in the Italian Alps, in the Piedmont region, lies Viganella. This charming village faces a unique challenge. It's shrouded in shadow for three months each year. But the resilient residents found a brilliant, some might even say illuminating, solution. For 83 days from November to February, the sun simply doesn't reach Viganella. The towering mountains cast a long shadow, plunging the village into darkness. The lack of sunlight affected their moods, their routines, and even their agriculture. But the people of Viganella are a resourceful bunch. Instead of resigning themselves to a life in the shadows, they decided to do something truly extraordinary. 
Veganella's solar solution, chasing the sun. Now let's talk about this mirror because it's not just any ordinary looking glass. This technological marvel is 40 square meters of steel and reflective panels, carefully angled to capture the sun's rays. It's controlled by a computer program that tracks the sun's movement throughout the day, ensuring that Viganella basks in a warm artificial glow. The impact of the mirror on the village has been nothing short of transformative. Before its installation, villagers would gather in the church square, longing for a glimpse of sunshine. Now that same square is bathed in light, a testament to human ingenuity and a refusal to let nature dictate their lives. It's a place where children play, couples stroll hand in hand, and the elderly soak up the much needed vitamin D. From the sun-seeking village of Viganella, we travel west to a land of ancient history and breathtaking landscapes. Portugal, with its charming towns and rugged coastline, beckons travelers seeking a taste of authentic Europe. And nestled amidst the rolling hills of the eastern region lies Monsanto, a village so unique it's often called the most Portuguese village in Portugal. Now, what makes Monsanto so quintessentially Portuguese? Well, imagine this, houses built into giant boulders, narrow cobblestone streets winding through a maze of granite, and a medieval castle perched atop a hill, guarding the village below. Monsanto is a place where time seems to have stood still, where the past is not just preserved, but woven into the very fabric of everyday life. The village's strategic location, perched atop a steep hill, made it an ideal defensive stronghold. And over the centuries, Monsanto has certainly seen its fair share of battles and sieges. But what's truly remarkable about Monsanto is how the villagers have incorporated the giant boulders into their homes and daily lives. Wandering through the narrow streets of Monsanto is like stepping back in time. You'll encounter houses with doorsteps worn smooth by centuries of footsteps, windows framed by cascading bougainvillea, and locals going about their daily routines, seemingly oblivious to the passage of time. One of the most striking features of Monsanto is its castle, perched precariously atop the highest point in the village. The castle dates back to the 12th century, and offers breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Climbing to the top is a must-do, rewarding you with a glimpse into the village's strategic past and a chance to soak in the beauty of the Portuguese landscape. The residents of Monsanto are fiercely proud of their heritage and their unique way of life. They've managed to preserve their traditions while embracing the modern world. You'll find cozy cafes serving strong coffee and traditional pastries alongside shops selling locally made crafts and souvenirs. And let's not forget the food. Monsanto is known for its hearty rustic cuisine. As we conclude our journey through some of Europe's most remote villages, it's important to reflect on the significance of these hidden gems. These villages, often overlooked in our quest for the latest and greatest, offer a glimpse into a Europe that's slowly disappearing. They remind us of the importance of tradition, community, and living in harmony with nature. But these villages face challenges. Depopulation, as young people seek opportunities elsewhere, is a constant concern. The lure of big cities and the conveniences of modern life can be hard to resist. And then there's the impact of tourism. While tourism can bring much needed revenue, it's crucial to find a balance between sharing the beauty of these places and preserving their authenticity. When you visit, be mindful of the local culture and customs. Support local businesses, savor the regional cuisine, and take the time to connect with the people who call these places home. So, there you have it, folks. A glimpse into the captivating world of Europe's most remote villages. From the cliff-clinging houses of Ferrore to the sun-seeking mirror of Viganella and the boulder-embracing homes of Monsanto, these villages offer a unique perspective on European culture, history, and resilience. Remember, the beauty of travel lies in discovering the unexpected, in venturing beyond the familiar, and in embracing the unknown. These remote villages are just a starting point. Europe is a continent brimming with hidden gems, waiting to be discovered. So, pack your bags, grab your map, or maybe just your sense of adventure, and get ready to experience Europe through the back door. Who knows what treasures you'll uncover? The journey awaits.